here it is. This is our donor motor for our water fuel project. And it's an old type 2 sundial, 2 horsepower engine. Um, I just picked it up today. See, so the first thing we've got to do with this, give her a bit of a clean up um, and see if we can't get it running. After that, we will be adding to it this little number here. This is a starter generator, so a starter motor and a generator, 12 volts, uh, 0.9 horsepower. Of course, we'll use the starter side to start the machine, and the generator side, of course, will be our output, um, which we're going to base all our measurements around. So, um, yeah, the first thing we've got to do is get the old timer running. It does turn over, it does have compression, so we're off to a good start. Um, it is complete, other than this exhaust here should have an elbow coming out, so the exhaust is up, but that's not going to hinder us in any way. Uh, old snap magneto ignition, and as you know with these old girls, we have all our little grease pots on the big ends, mains, oil pot for the lubrication of the cylinder, and our water pot in here. Um, so the plan is to see how much water we can add to the fuel and see if we can actually get any more output um, from our generator by adding water to the machine. Uh, what we're going to be doing is increasing the run time uh, by adding water. We've already done this with a modern generator but we're going way back in time to see how far this could have actually been implemented into um, the good old internal combustion engine and uh, give you an idea as to how cheaply we could be running our engines today compared to what we pay for in fuel costs so um, I'll get this video up and loaded and uh, you'll know where we're going and what we're doing and what engine we're going to be using the next one hopefully will be this old girl running alright guys uh, let's see how far we can take this <laughs> 